a no star recruit to a walk on at Temple to tonight, a first round draft pick, Hassan Reddick has overcome all the odds. And if you ask him, it was all worth it. Hassan Reddick from Temple, one of the more intriguing players in this draft. Productive, love his versatility, love his high motor. He's a guy that's going to be a star at the next level. Has Reddick lost a rep yet this week? That's what I want to know because I haven't seen it. He's the new face of NFL versatility, a guy who can play all over the field. He has a lot of things that he brings to the table. Locked himself into the first round yeah. today. The road to the NFL draft wasn't always an easy one. Plagued by injuries his junior and senior years of high school, Reddick found himself with no scholarship offers. The Camden native took a spot as a walk-on defensive back at Temple, just 20 minutes from his hometown. At first, when I thought about it, about going about going to college, you know, and not being able to play football, I was a little bit of, I was a little bit down on it. Um, but my mother, being the person she is, the great advice that she gives, you know, I listened to her, and you know, she was right. Everything ended up working out for the best. Um, I wanted more. I wanted more for him. He wanted more for himself. Ah, uh, who better to push you to that or through that than your mom? We're not settling. You will not be a statistic. Start off uh, trying to get on the field, play any position that they asked me and just show me and just show the, uh, the coaching staff that I was the best that way I can get on the field. And at times it was hard. You came to Temple at 185. Mm -hmm. You weighed in at the NFL Combine at 237. That doesn't happen overnight. No. How did you go about that? Uh, just a lot of eating, using the meal plan that my mother, you know, took out the loan for, making the, making the best out of that situation, you know. Um, being as though she took out the loan, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't wasting it. It's pretty much, you know, as a mom, do what you have to do because this is going to happen. We need this to happen. And initially, I would do his grocery shopping for him. Like every week, he'd text me at the list and I would do his grocery shopping. And that honestly, financially, it worked for me. But then when I found out, like, you know, he couldn't go to, correct me if I'm wrong, J and H, to like eat and stuff with his teammates that he's been like grinding with all day, he wasn't benefiting socially. Have you taken a minute to reflect on how incredible it is that you went from a walk-on at Temple to a potential first round pick in the NFL draft? Uh, yeah, I always reflect on it. Like every, every day I just think about how far I've come, you know, the things that I had to do or the things that I had to endure uh, just to get to this point. And looking back, everything was worth it, you know. It was nothing that I would change. Uh, uh, if I had to go through this whole process again, I, I, I would go through it the same way. The first carry for Prosize, he's hammered in the backfield. Yes, that's Hassan Reddick off the edge. Once Reddick got his shot, he made the most of it and never looked back, setting the conference record with 22 tackles for loss his senior season. These opportunities are what I can, you know, what most consider once in a lifetime, you know, and, and, and the, now that I'm being given these opportunities, I have to make the best of them. Um, I have to capitalize every opportunity that I get because, um, you know, one, one slip up, you know, or one, one wrong move might end, you know, I might not get any more opportunities. So I'm just trying to, you know, as they come, I'm trying to knock them down one by one and, and, and capitalize. Here's Hassan Reddick of Temple. Hey, nice. Four, five, two. Ooh, that's clowny-esque. Reddick just keeps confirming what we thought, that he's a pretty darn good athlete coming out of Temple. Did you go into the combine with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder? Oh, of course, you know. Oh, I wanted to show everyone what I had, um, you know. So senior bowl, you know, that was a big breakout for me. Uh, you know, I felt like there was still some doubters, still some people who had questions. It still might be now, but I know I uh, acquired a lot more people after the combine. I went through a lot. I went through a lot watching him because it was like I had tears. Um, they were tears of joy because I was looking at my baby, but then like when he, I'm like, <laughs> sorry, but the emotion was literally like that. Like, I'm like, woo hoo, like, like ecstatic. Like this kid is, for lack of better words, killing the combine. How incredible will it be to hear your name called? Oh man, it, it, it would be, it would, so I use the, uh, 
I use the, the, the phrase like putting the cherry on top of a Sunday. Uh, you know, after the senior season that we had here, uh, and after, you know, what I've done this postseason, with the draft being here in Philadelphia, to get my name called, you know, in the city that I played football in for four years, um, being so close to home, it, it would be amazing. It, 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 it'll be, really be beautiful. He deserves it. Um, he's been, he was dedicated to it. Um, and he just stayed focused and he was determined to succeed. So looking at the journey and seeing where he started and seeing him as a walk on um, and seeing where he is now, I want him to be great in this next level of his life. I want him to continue to have that drive and that focus and that persistence um, because I think that's what, well, not even think, I know that's what got him here. But in that, live your life, and enjoy every experience that you have that comes along with this. But at the same time, stay humble. First thing you're going to do when you get drafted? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, more than likely buy my mother a house and get her out of Camden. Uh, that's always something I wanted to do, just be based on the, uh, the area. Temple's known for finding diamonds in the rough, and I'd say you're a pretty good example of that. Would you agree? Yeah, I, I would say that, and, and I would think that there's some other teams, you know, that I applied to school for that might be mad that I, uh, they didn't accept me, so. What would you say to those teams now? Oh, man. I, I don't have much to say to them, you know. Uh, uh, now that I'm maturing, I don't have much to say to anybody. I'm, I'm truly doing this for myself. Um, everything that I did, it was for me, and, and I'm here. No matter who helped me or who didn't, who overlooked me, or who, who doubted me, you know, I'm still here. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Sometimes your critics can be the best thing ever. They can give you that extra drive and that extra push that you need. So thank you. Thank you, you know, that he heard those things and it didn't break him. It just made him stronger and made him go harder. You made him hungry, so thank you.